What's up, YouTube? Today, I've got my hands on this coin collection slash kind of like a junk silver collection. Though so there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Um, I thought while I've got it, I should make a quick video and share it with you guys. Um, this will probably be a two-parter, so there's a lot of stuff to go to go through in here. But stay tuned and we'll run through it. First, I've got this bag here. It's got about... 350 of these Roosevelt dimes in it, all 90% silver. Um, next, there's this jar full of wheat scent. Oh, wheat scents. Um, pretty interesting. And then there's a little, little one here full of the still wheat scents from 1943. Um, quite a few in there. Pretty interesting. Um, next, I've got this Lincoln coin. I don't really know much about this, honestly. I don't know who minted it. Um, I'm not sure. Um, over here, though, um, it's the Washington commemorative coin, the 50 cent piece for his um, 250th birthday anniversary. Um, there's a proof on top, obviously. Underneath there is just an uncirculated. Thought those were pretty cool. They're pretty neat. Um, First, we've got the Seated Liberty from 1847. Not too bad. Next, we've got a 1853 Seated Liberty. This one's in pretty rough shape. You can barely see the arrows. Um, next, there's a good amount of the Walking Liberties, which I think is a great coin. Most people think it's a great looking coin. And then, a good amount of Franklins. Um, just a page full of 50 cent pieces. Mm. Nothing too special, nothing like in great shape, but still 90% silver. Next, we've got uh, 25 cent pieces starting with an 1857 Seed of Liberty. Pretty rough shape. Um, then just the barber coins actually. The rest are all pretty much barber. Nothing in too great of shape. This one down here is probably the nicest from 1909. Um, and then one standing Liberty in 1920. And the back on that 1909 actually, I think that thing's in great shape. I love the standing Liberty too. Um, over here is just a page of Washington's. Again, 64 and older, so all 90% silver. Oh, page and more than a page of Washington's. Okay, next we've got this shield nickel here. It's in pretty rough shape. Um, the rest of the nickels on this page are all just Liberty heads. Nothing too fancy, and these aren't. I don't know where these aren't actually silver. They're in the book just because they're um, still a really cool coin. I think the back on these is actually the best part. It's got a really nice reverse. Um, but anyways, after that, <clears throat> we got a 1848 dime. See the Liberty here. Um, not in great shape, but you can still make out the date and stars so it's not that bad um, then it's good amount of barber dimes nothing really special here again but still they're cool coins after this page it's all mercury dimes there's a couple from the teens really nothing too special no key dates they're sorted through but there's 14 pages here of Mercury Dimes. And then in the very back, some of the 64 Kennedys. So there went a little more than a page and a half here of the 64 Kennedys, very popular coin. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side of the book in a second video. So if you like what you've seen so far, feel free to click on that part two and we'll go over the second part of this book. It's mainly uh, silver dollars and then some um, foreign coins too. Some cool stuff. So.
click on that video if you're interested and thanks for tuning in.